Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome back to Battle Brothers. I realized last episode I was dumb um, and ended up uh, reloading instead of saving. So I did the battle off camera, I came back and I got the money and we're going to pick up from there. Uh, stupidity on my part, so that's fine. It happens, okay? You know what? You know what? It's fine. Another thing people suggested is I get rid of the bow on this guy and I just give him a sword and a shield and just hook him up with like some armor and only have like one ranged guy uh, to start. I think that makes sense. Amber shards we have as well. Let's uh, let's go sell those amber shards. Necklace and rings. Traders will pay good price for the coin. Not good enough, apparently. They're only going to spend 42 gold for it. That's uh, that's some freaking garbage. Um, Let's get rid of this bow. This needs to be repaired. So we may end up repairing it. But I'm just trying to make some money here to the best of my capabilities. And I'm thinking we might end up hiring a new one extra guy. Reinhold, maybe Torvald is super expensive. Good God. Why don't we get somebody super cheap? Let's see. Banished from his home after a violent struggle with his brother. He was forced onto the streets. Having to beg. Sure. Welcome to the crew, man. We take basically fucking anybody at this point. We are not picky or choosy. So let's see. You have Jack Diddley. So here you go. Pickaxe and that to start. Uh, yours gives you 20. We also only have one that's 20. Let's hook you up with some better armor. We might as well equip our good man with something a little bit better. Okay, well, I just wanted to buy some stuff. Maybe even a better weapon might be worth it. One-handed axe. Let's grab this, and let's grab one of these tunics here. Not great, but we need to pick up some jobs anyway. There's no contracts here, unfortunately. So it's a little bit better. Here you go. This does 15 to 35. It's not great, but it'll do for now. We're basically just a group of roaming brigands. Also, this dude has a deep abdominal abdominal cut, so that's going to take us a, a few days to heal. But I'm thinking we go to Crumwater. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm thinking we go to, well, Thalberg is closer. We need to find a job, so let's go to Thalberg. Oh! Many brigand thunks. Fuck it, let's get them. This is probably a mistake, but let's save it. Mistakes. Miss, Miss K's. Alright. Many brigand thugs. Let's fucking see how many many is. Let's break in some of our men. And 7v7. Bring it on, you punk bastards. We missed. Alright, let's start moving up. I don't necessarily want to go too far here. I kind of want them to come to me. I feel like we're better equipped than they are. We're going to shield wall and just play defensively here. Okay. Get you here, and we'll shield wall. Hit point bars. Eh, I don't know if that's necessary. That's a lot of just information. Might hide the trees, though. Uh, if we want to put him here. I think that's what we want to do. Let's put him here. So I want to put this guy here, and we'll shield wall, which actually gives us a bunch of defense because we're shield walling all along the lines here. Gonna wait. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. Yeah, didn't think it was gonna happen. Good try, though. Good miss. So now we can try decapitating. It does so much damage. I mean, but it also eats up our fatigue. We missed. I'll hold out for now. Okay. 
Just lined up. We're just all lined up together here. Good miss. Somehow we still miss. Well, this is insane. Ho! Oh, okay, we got very lucky there. Let's knock you back. Destroy armor. That's actually pretty good, but let's not destroy it quite yet. Let's knock you back and then pick this guy. This guy is fucked. Maybe not as fucked as I would have liked. 63 versus 68. Goodbye! Feels good. <laughs> that really is, uh, is really nice. Crack him and then we'll knock him out. We missed. Going for that decapitate. It's greedy as hell. Oh my god. It's greedy as hell, but... I can't help it. Good miss. This guy hits hard? Good hit. But he also is like no defense. So it's just not not as lucky as I would like. Ooh, good hit. Good hit. I give it to you. Let's go ahead and see if we can finish this guy off. I'm hoping they're going to break and freak out and run. He's wavering, which is good. Go ahead and crack him, and then we will knock him back. Okay, he is breaking now. So we're just going to beat him and hope for the best. Good. Stunned him. I'll take it. Let's just go for regular attacks here. Bleeding is good. Killed him, so our guy's going to live. Let's pull him back a bit. I don't want to stress out too much about losing him. Unfortunate miss, but that's okay. Good, good. This guy is fleeing at this point. This guy is only breaking. I'm gonna stop him here. We actually handled this battle incredibly well. This guy is running for his life. Let's go here. You're not gonna run from me, good but good sir. No, no, no. We're running you down. Sorry. It just is happening that way. You're fine. You're actually gonna fight back? Wait, what? Why are you fighting back? That's not supposed to happen. Well, we might lose somebody now because I fought back. Which is very dumb of me, I guess. Seem to keep him surrounded. How is he not dead? That zero health, man. Put you here and just mind pick his face open. There we go. Unfortunate, because we actually pulled a fractured elbow and... So they'll both heal, which is good. Sprained ankle. We got a couple level ups. All, all con things considered, not bad. We got 196 gold out of them. That alone is super good. Some tools, some food. Honestly, we actually pulled out of that pretty fucking nicely. Uh, I'm happy about it. So this right here, we're going to actually mark to get repaired. Because this is a decent weapon. So let's get that repaired. Uh, this guy wants to level up, so we should start leveling people up. He is... Good defensively, actually. Um, and he definitely has a good initiative. We may want to make him our, our defensive dude. So we'll, we'll think melee defense, some health. And him always going first is not a bad thing. But what do I want him to do? Adrenaline, recover. We could just give him the skill to recover. Gain additional a stacking plus eight chance to hit with each attack that misses on an opponent. Yo, that's actually really good. Why don't we give him the ability to level up faster, I guess. 
Because it gets refunded in the end anyway. So Hartwig here is a melee guy we've been using, but we'll crack up his maximum fatigue, I think. He wants to be ranged. I just feel like health is always useful. Crippling strikes. Man, I just don't know what good builds are at this point, so... The next round, have another turn before your enemies do. That could be good, too. I'm gonna go with this one again. More experience for faster leveling. Oh, this guy gets health because he's good at it. Um, we'll go stick him with the melee. Though he's not particularly good at melee. Uh, I guess fatigue, because fatigue is just valuable to me. And since he's melee, why don't we give him Colossus for extra health? And then here's our ranged fellow. Good job, good sir, good job. Um, let's give you more fatigue as well. We need to rest after that battle, but we should get... We should get somewhere first. Okay, so with ranged, I'm thinking Pathfinder might not be a bad thing. Crippling strikes, fast adaptation. Or even maybe just straight up giving him as well. Boom. Get them to level faster. Not bad. As actually, that worked out really, really well for us. I just hope that whoever these are, not gonna fuck with us. I don't like that I can't interact with, par like, uh, with caravans and stuff. Wait, what? Locked by the noble houses. That's some shit. How about taverns? Heard that some fancy fat merchant or so from Finter's Walls was looking to hire armed guards the other day. Oh, I ain't going to die for him, no thanks. Have my house and wife right here. Uh, how are our spirits right now? They're fine. So Finter's Vale, Finter's Vale, that could be good. We should probably stay here for the night, but let's take a look at where Finter's, it's right up there. Why don't we, why don't we crash for the night? Uh, get healed up, get people's, uh, get their fatigue back, etc, etc. And we'll crack out here now in the morning. There's a job in Finter's Vale, we might as well make our way there. What? Where? What? As is customary, you assembly men to explain the company's next steps. Uh, right. Why don't we... Let's go for a, a dozen men. Let's look to, to hire a dozen men here. Let's get our company to a point where we can actually do some good stuff. We should be safe in this area. Okay. There is a contract. There's like nothing else here. We can grab somebody though. Whoa, level two dude. Well, how about you? I'm gonna grab you. We might as well. We can equip you as well. You are... You have double grip on, on a shitty weapon. We'll give you a big ol' axe. We'll give you something that's not shit. We have a flail. That might actually be really good. Because it's 15 to 30 damage, ignores 50% of armor. 20 to 25. I don't give you a flail, man. I haven't used a flail yet. Get that shit repaired while you're holding it, obviously. Light wounds and an injured shoulder. That's all right. All right, let's see what this job is. You enter a tavern and garner a few looks from your arrival. Men whisper to one another, the women ogle as they tend to do. The bartender fists a cloth into a mug, then calls you over. Oh, uh... We've already seen, like, the same talk before. Yeah, that we've already had this conversation in a previous episode. Uh, Ryman of Fincher's Vale comes to welcome you into his room and pours you a mug of water. He hands it over with a sheepish smile. I'd offer a bit of ale or wine if I had it on me, but you know how things are nowadays. He takes a sip and clears his throat. <clears> throat> of course, uh, no, what, I, what I'm not short on are crowns. Otherwise, we wouldn't be having this conversation, right? I need you to go to a place by the name of Last Hope's End, just west of here, and retrieve a, a relic by the name of Fingerbone of Sir Gerdhart. Pretty simple, no? You ask what this relic is good for. The man explains. Townsfolk pray to it. Through it, they find peace. Call for the rains, fark their goats. I don't care. 
They believe in it and it keeps them motivated. For that alone, it's worth retrieving. All right, let's talk payment. 370 crowns. Uh, we need to be paid more for this. 390. All right, we'll take we'll take it. It went up. Accept it. All right, so let's save. We'll save over mistakes, which is another save I have. Uh, so west. Here. All right. How are we looking? One, two, three. Two days of healing. Two to four days. Two to five days. Why don't we... Why don't we rest up then for a bit? And try and get some healing going. I would like to, the, just some wounds to be not exactly there anymore. At least the contract doesn't have, like, a ton of uh, time. The, the, the big thing now is just money being lost. 77 crowns a day. Uh, you spot a strange man hobbling along the road. He's dressed in a long cloak and he's got a knapsack yoked over one of his shoulders. His stare, eyes stare at the ground until they come to your feet, at which point he finally looks up. Seeing your company, the man is surprisingly unalarmed. In fact, he's quite receptive to your presence and asks if maybe he could spend the night with cell swords before continuing his journey to Essenstad. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna invite him. You sit about a fire. Much talk is made about this or that, but the traveler does, does speak some words of which reside in your mind long after he's gone. Thank you for offering the fish, sirs, but I will have, it, have to turn it down. Let me explain. Just the other day, I tried digging a hole for McKinn as he'd pass away as folks requiring holes in the earth tend to do. "'Twas distant cousin that stood close. Lived next door, actually. Feller died of illness. illness. Something we don't know of. But none of... But but none... But he got... So I guess we is all right. He was all green when he passed. Y'all know what that might have been. I don't know. No? Damn. Well, anyway, I dug his grave for him, and he surely wasn't going to do it himself. I got far into the ground when I come across a big old stone. Pick hit it hard. Broke the shaft in two and made chalk of my pickaxe. I said, horse shit. I've gone too far to stop here, so I'll get out the way, stone. But that rock had bones in it. Not on it. In it. Strange looking ones, but bones nonetheless. Death is remarkably familiar from an outsider's perspective. Anyway, the skull seemed to be looking at me, judging me, saying, what is it you think you're doing here? So I got up out of that hole and ran to my home. My cousin's remains yoked over my shoulders like I'd stolen them. I was bothered, couldn't sleep, felt like I was laying over what must have been hundreds of fellers right then. Some so old they'd taken shape with rocks of all things, dead fellers. All the way down. Nothing but dead. All the way down, I say. And I didn't know what to do, and I suppose it still bothers me now if it ain't obvious. A little, I. Later on, I decided I wouldn't bury my cousin. Instead, I burned his remains and threw the heap of what was left stewing and smoking into a pond. I said to myself, cousin, you ain't gonna be no rock. But the other day, I found them bones washed ashore, and there was a fat-bellied fish caught in the ribs. Caged himself on their account of good eats, I guess. Picked that fish up and held it, and my cousin, I suppose, in hand. So it was limp, bug-eyed as fish are without their watery lids. But then a dog ran by and took it from me. Gobbled it right quick before uh, I knew the nature of its crime, I think. That's where a piece of my cousin ran off to. Dodged the earth on account of the hungry rocks, only to be eaten by a squire of a fish that served itself right just to a dog of all things. So now you know why I don't eat fish no more. Huh, interesting story. Well, thanks for the story, dude. Like, that's all that was, was a long-ass motherfucking story. I'm curious what this does. Uh, we really need to wait these guys out. We Oh, apparently, if I do this, will he stay, like... Like, can I do, if I do this, will this, will this be how they end up showing up in combat? Also, what the hell does this do? Okay. Good shit. Well, I think I'm gonna actually burn out the rest of the time just camping here. And I think we'll tackle this next episode. Thank you all guys all so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying it as always. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.